everyone. Good morning. It is Monday morning and it's Grandma Jackie and I'm back with another video for you. I generally do Dollar Tree videos on Mondays and Fridays. Last Friday, I'm moving this thing again. Last Friday was Good Friday, however, and I was not feeling very well. Um, I was actually scheduled for a 12 hour shift. I don't ever call in. I called in. Um, I just had a headache, stomach ache. Um, I wasn't in a good, a good frame of uh, mind that day. So I did take that day off. Um, and that's very unusual for me. So I need, I need to reset myself, I think is what it is. And so, um, yeah, there's that. So today I'm scheduled for an eight hour shift. Who knows? Um, I, there's just a lot of things going on. Um, I think Wednesday with me video, I am going to do that video, um, whether Lila's in the background making noise or not this week. So please stay tuned for that video because it's going to be more of an informational video. Um, kind of catch you up on some things and situations that's going on, um, with Grandma Jackie. <laughs> And, um, kind of how life, life is flowing right now. Um, so I hope everybody had a good Easter. Um, we actually was not going to, um, but that's a whole different story that I will add to Wednesday's video. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I have some, I don't have very much Dollar Tree, so I, I'm, I'm sorry, but... I'm going to hang on to that for just a little bit until I can get out and maybe try to collect some more. So, um, just to kind of see what's going on out there because, um, I do have some, I know I'm kind of all over the place, but I, I have so many things on my mind, you guys. Um, I do have a couple secondhand stores, like my favorite, which was, what is it? The silk purse. And then also a few things from the Goodwill, not very many. As usual um, some things from Hobby Lobby and I do have one thing sent in here from um, Walmart when we went the other day now I didn't haul the Walmart stuff or the groceries or things like that like I said I'm gonna save this stuff for Wednesday because it's gonna be interesting but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on what I have and um, if I didn't already say it I hope you guys are having a good day so here we go um, secondhand store. Um, my aunt and I collect the, um, baskets that are kind of different and original and different sizes for baskets for the cemeteries. We have one more day that we're going to get together and work together and that's going to be, I think May 1st. So I, we needed just a few more baskets and I'm sure she's going to bring some too. Cause she, she is, uh, where I learned how to shop. <laughs> put it that way so um a couple baskets here they were a dollar a piece at my um favorite thrift store which is the silk purse but um it's this basket here and then this basket here which is kind of like a pink and a white birch wood kind of gray looking so I, I really like these they're kind of different but yeah that's why I like them probably so there's a couple of those and we'll make a real pretty flower arrangement in that. Um, this I got at the Goodwill. Um, it's like a light, light wood, not, not plastic, like a very light wood, almost styrofoamy, but not. So I picked this up and I think what it is, it's meant to like mount on the ceiling and then your light fixture comes out here. But I picked it up because I think, I don't know if I'm going to use that somewhere in the house or maybe do a DIY with it, but I, I thought it was interesting enough. I wanted to add it to my collection. So it was $2.99 at Goodwill. And this was from the Goodwill too. Let me see if I can find the price on it. It was $4.99 and I did open it and it looks like it's never been played with, you guys. I don't know how old it is because I have not ever seen it, but um, it is Mickey Mouse 75th Anniversary Collector's Edition Monopoly. Let me just 
I gotta open. I gotta open and show just a couple of these little items in here. They're so darn cute. Okay. These are the little cards that are in it. And one of them, just for instance, says, Ride in Mickey's Horseless Carriage Advance to the Nifty 90s. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. So, um, here is a $20 bill. Isn't that adorable? So, so cute. Okay, so, let me see if I can find... Just really quick, one of those um, little, what do you call it? The little doodads that you move around the board. What are those called? I don't know. Interest. Come here. Oh, here they go. Here's one. This one is obviously mini. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. Mini. Isn't that cute? And, oh my goodness, here's Mickey. This is what Mickey looks like. Little Mickey. And it looks like there's Donald. Oh, oh, here we go. You guys, Goofy. Goofy! He's one of my favorite characters. Little Goofy, I hope you can see him. So, so cute. Okay. So let me get this put back down in there. So for $4.99, I didn't think that was bad at all. I don't know what it would have priced at in the store. But definitely going to take on my grandkids in a game of that. So, okay. Let's see. Lift this big heavy thing over here. Okay, I got this, which is... From the silk purse, it was a dollar ninety nine, but it's very heavy duty, and I've been redoing my pantry on the flip side of everything that I'm dealing with. Um, but this is like really heavy duty. I don't know. It's probably a locker, you know, stack in the locker thing. But it's so heavy duty. I was like, I can use this like under the sink to stack like big heavy bottles of cleaner or something like that in there. For $1.99, I didn't think that was bad because you're going to pay way more than that um, at Walmart. Okay, and then this. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might use it for decor in the house and I might use it for um, cemetery arrangement. It's definitely heavy enough for that. It was $8.99. Very big. Just kind of interesting. It's got like the galvanized metal look but then it, it also almost looks like leather but this is metal uh, that was really interesting and it's very very heavy it's got some weight to it and then I got little miss Lila one two three pairs of pants they're all the same and the same size they're all from Old Navy and let me see the size here 3t they were $2.99 a piece. So I thought those are really cute and they're really in good condition. And I like how like these pants have that extra right here so you can tighten them around the belly a little bit if they need it or not. Which I don't think that would be our case. But yeah, I got three pairs of those $2.99 a piece. So she's got some jeans to romp around in. And this was at the silk purse for a dollar. Just this little bundle of red flowers. Red roses, actually. So I always, whenever I can find these out cheap, I try to pick them up because you guys know what the prices are at Hobby Lobby and stuff like that and then this was at the silk purse so I think it was $3.99 but I'm not positive it's just pants for me those are the Maurice's they're the stretch and they look like they're in really good shape um, I don't know. Uh, what do you call them what do you call them like leggings is that it leggings or stretchums and I don't know but anyways, I got me a pair of pants. 
Then I picked this up, kind of help with organizing. It was brand new. I don't know what the price goes for brand new, actually, in the store. But this was at the Goodwill for $2.99. And I believe it's a scarf holder. You can hold your scarfs in there. So I picked that up for some organization. Don't know if I'm going to use it for scarves or maybe somewhere in the craft section of the shed. Then um, I am also working on redoing my front porch. I, I think what happened is, you guys, is I bit off too many things at one time. I'm burning the candle at both ends. I don't know. Anyways, um, this was $2.99 at the Goodwill. And it's just a place where my husband can drop his keys when he comes in. Because he has a habit. He's lost his phone before. He's lost his keys before. Um, lost multiple times. Multiple times. So if he just drops his keys when he walks in the door, then we'll be able to find them. Right? That's, that's the whole issue. Maybe. I don't know. We'll try to figure that out, though. Um... And I got some books, and these books I all got at my favorite secondhand store, Silk Purse. It's ran by the church. Um, um, this was a cookbook, and it's a southern collection of tested recipes. It says the Junior League of Columbus, Georgia. But I flipped through here, and I love these kinds of cookbooks because, you know, everybody in that church gathered recipes together, and they made a cookbook. So, um, let me see. Brussels sprout casserole, scalloped apples, D's bourbon beans. And you know this stuff is going to be good. So, yeah. I wanted different kind of recipes, and I have a hard time... When I'm trying to follow like a Pinterest recipe or something or something I find online, the screen keeps going off and you have to keep touching it and stuff like that. Well, if you had the recipe right in front of you with a recipe holder, you know, you just walk back over to it and find it. I'm kind of old fashioned that way. So anyways, all these books are 50 cents a piece. So there's that. And then here's another recipe book. Um, it's the First Baptist Church of Louisville. Recipes and Remembrances. And again, this is a book that, you know, the church has put together. So these are good, old-fashioned, passed down generation. Um, where am I at? Cooking and can cookies and candies, monster cookies, sour cream cookies. So, yeah. And then it, it gives, like, helpful hints, too. Where, where was that at? Helpful hints for main dishes. The tricks of the trade. That's what I wanted to call it. So, yeah, I got that. 50 cents. And then a couple of, uh, I don't know what you'd call them. Maybe religious books? Maybe? I don't know. My mom's favorite thing was... The footprints in the sand. Um, that was just like anytime you hear anything footprints in the sand, it just reminds you of that woman, <laughs> me and everyone in our family. But anyways, I found this book. It's called Footprints, and it says scriptures with reflections inspired by the best love poem. So this is what it looks like. It looks like it's in very good condition. 50 cents but I'm you know I don't know it's just one of the favorite part of that is when you saw only one set of footprints it was then that I carried you I can tell you <clears throat> I'm probably being carried at this moment and I just don't realize it so um I got this I picked this up I thought I'm going to stick this by my bed and gonna use it I'm gonna utilize it because it's something that I probably need okay and then this I found this and it's 50 cents as well Bible promises for a little girl and I thought um I can read this to Lila I still can read this to Lila look 
look at the illustrations. I love that. So it also looks like it's fairly new and in the US it would have went for $9.99. So got that. I'll put that over there because that's going to be bedtime reading probably. Okay. A couple more books. Looks how long this video is. I'm so proud of myself and I ain't even got to Hobby Lobby yet. Um, these two books that I got were from Goodwill and I think they were like a dollar, dollar ninety nine, somewhere in there because they're not hardback books. So this one is just one that I read through the back and I thought it sounded interesting. It's called Four Winds. And then this one is I kind of have a little bit of collection of Anne Rice and I've never even heard of this book. It's from like the Vampire Chronicles or whatever, kind of mythical. Um, but yeah, I just got that just to kind of, I don't know, read through. I reckon one more thing here from the secondhand store. I believe it was from Goodwill and it's a bag. It's got some odds and ends in it. Um, but the thing, what is this? Oh, here's a little veil. It's actually quite pretty. <laughs> so a little veil and it's got, I don't know if you can see the little sequins that are embedded in it. <laughs> and a couple of these, which is obviously, well, not Dollar Tree, $2.99, so Walmart. But a couple of those, they're brand new. And remember, the whole bag costs $2.99, so this whole set, which is also new. And then these, and they are also new, too. And I believe, yeah, these are from Hobby Lobby. So these are little clips from the jewelry shop at Hobby Lobby. Those are what I got them for. And here is... Um, I call it large double hook. And another one the same. So yeah, $2.99 for that whole bag. That's not a bad deal whatsoever. And I'm just going to keep going. You know, I just want to finish what I have here on the bed. Um, one thing from Walmart that I did save out to show is these shoes for Lila. They was $15.98. I grabbed her some of these for the summer. Easy to get on and they light. They light. Okay, and then moving on to get this stuff off of here real quick. Moving on to Hobby Lobby real quick. I got this cup. Um, and I wrote I went through and I wrote the original price for it. Um, since it was the spring shop, uh, it was originally $11.99. I got it for $7.19. This is going to be my summer cup. And then this, what is it? Tim, is it Tim Holtz? Is that how you say it? All of his stuff was on sale for 40% off too. And I needed this distress ink because I'm doing a little bit of that junk journaling. And it was originally $11.99, but I got it for $7.19, just kind of to distress some things. And then this would have been, been $4.19. And then a couple of these, and these things are <laughs> amazing. So this would have been $4.19. You get all of these little different flowers and things in there that you can put in your junk journals or your planner whatever you want to do and this was $5.39 and this one has like little wallpaper scraps and things in it too the different you kind of get a glare but really pretty so that and just a couple more things. I got four of these to put on my desk out in the shed. 
because I realized I didn't want to destroy my desk while I was doing all kinds of stuff out there. Um, these were $1.19 a piece, and you guys remember I told you I'm like gravitating towards this rainbow. Um, just reminds me, I don't know, childhood? I don't know. But I got four of them to set across my desk while I'm working. And then I went down like this sewing crocheting aisle, which I never go down, but I seen orange tags. So orange tags mean sale. So this was, um, it's just a little flowered box that you can put a tag in, but it was $1.99. I think I'm going to use it for like a recipe box. But then I also filled it <laughs> with stuff. <clears throat> So, and that's just what the inside of the box looks like. And then these things were on sale as well. They were 99 cents and they're just little mini gift cards with little matching envelopes. So I grabbed two of those. And here is a little bookmark. That was $0.74. Cents. It was on sale. I don't know if you can see. And it has a, like a little pom-pom tassel to it. Acrylic. This was half off, so it would have been $3. It's just like a new little, kind of like an extended keychain for me. I thought that was pretty. And then the his and her um, stuff for the wedding supply stuff was on sale. And I went down that aisle and I just picked up one of this. Um, it's like little jeweled hearts. And it would have been a dollar. Very pretty. And then also in the spring um, section, this would have been $2.99 a piece. I found these little metal scoops but I thought I can use those for whenever we make like a little candy bar for maybe the family reunion or birthday parties or whatever so yeah that is my haul you guys um thank you so much for sticking around and watching I really appreciate each and every one of you if you wouldn't mind please give this video a thumbs up it really helps out my channel and I hope you guys are having a good day um it is Monday so we're gonna start this week out and see where we end up so um, please stay tuned stay tuned for Wednesday's video. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit different, a little more informational. I might throw in some products that I've used from the Dollar Tree or whatever and tell you if I like them or I don't. Um, I'm not real sure, but I know it's kind of going to be a chatty video and I'll try to keep it under 15 minutes for Wednesday. So please stay safe, take care of yourself, and I will talk to you later.